car performance, but need a family-sized car? Enter the Audi RS Q3. This is the first Audi SUV with an RS badge, and under its bonnet, there's a potent 2.5-litre five-cylinder engine. So, let's fire up the engine and see if it really deserves that badge. Floor the throttle and the massive turbocharger gives the RS Q3 a gigantic kick up the backside. Meaning, it'll blast past 60 miles an hour in just over 5 seconds. That's almost as fast as a Porsche 911. More importantly, it's got 420 pounds per square foot of torque, and that's available from just 1500 RPM. The RS Q3 is only available with Audi's 7-speed semi-auto gearbox. That's not a bad thing though, because it's a decent piece of kit. You can either let it do all the hard work and change gear for you, or you can change gear yourself using the paddles on the steering wheel. The RS sits 25mm closer to the ground than the standard Q3, and that means it handles far more like a sports car than an SUV. The RS Q3 isn't cheap to buy or run. Its £43,000 starting price will be too rich for many. It costs £17,000 more than the cheapest Q3. Sit in the cabin and it does feel worthy of that price though. Kid glove soft leather seats are standard. They're heated and have four-way lumbar adjustment. The mix of trims and finishes shout Chanel handbag, just as much as the cabin of a Chevy Spark screams Primark. Based on the old VW Golf, the RS Q3 isn't hugely roomy inside. While there's a decent amount of head and leg room for the driver up front, there isn't that much space in the back. Three adults will find it a squeeze on a long drive. The boot is only mediocre at 356 litres. And when you open the boot, the parcel shelf doesn't lift up out of the way, which can make it difficult to load large items. As you'd expect, it's got masses of gripping corners, and the steering is really nice and direct. But the ride is pretty harsh on our bumpy roads. If you want to liven up a dull drive, slip the transmission into S and it'll open up the exhaust more, giving it a throaty noise. The RS Q3 is painfully pricey compared to its old rival, the BMW X1. But compared to the newcomer in this segment, the Range Rover Evoque, it's actually a lot faster and a fair bit cheaper and it could be considered quite a sensible choice. According to industry experts CAP, this car is going to hold on to much more of its original value than any of its rivals.